I'm uh, Dr. John McCarthy. I practice with Tidewater Orthopedic here in uh, Williamsburg, Virginia. So it's usually a painful knee that brings them into the office. Uh, sometimes it's uh, a lot of joint swelling that limits their mobility. Uh, sometimes it's uh, symptoms of locking or giving way. Uh, but it, it, it's mainly pain uh, to where it affects their function and they're having difficulty with activities of daily living. There are several types of arthritis that generally bring people into the office. Uh, the most common is osteoarthritis, which is basically wear and tear. Uh, the, you no longer have enough tread on your tires. Um, the other types of arthritis are gout, which is a crystalline form of arthritis. It's kind of like a grit or a debris that uh, causes the knee to wear out prematurely. Uh, the other type is, is inflammatory arthritis. It's a disease where uh, a process actually attacks and destroys the cartilage in the knee. Uh, knee replacement surgery uh, removes the damaged cartilage and it replaces it with synthetic parts, uh, generally a stainless steel uh, associated with a plastic liner to create a near frictionless surface. Uh, I use a technique called gap balancing with a tensor guide system and I think that accurately enables us to reproduce good alignment in the knee and it's a, enabled me to get good consistent results. Our concept of the ortho joint center is to really create a wellness concept. So you're there to get better not because you're sick and so we're really trying to expedite the healing process to get you better and to get you home so that most of your rehabilitation is at home. The typical hospital stay after the surgery is two to three days um, and that's generally sufficient to control your pain so that it can be managed at home. We also need to put people on blood thinners so that we reduce their risks of other complications such as a blood clot. At 20 years, 80% of our knee replacements are still functioning fine. So people can play doubles tennis, they can swim, if they get enough motion they can ride a bicycle. Uh, those sorts of activities. I, I generally don't recommend running simply because it's impact on the knee. You're running at a speed, the impact of the surface as well as magnified by your body weight and that just increases your risk of premature wear.